Hey everyone, welcome to another video and in this one we're going to be talking exclusively about the parkour and free running in Assassin's Creed Empire or the next Assassin's Creed game at least. Now I feel as if this area needs to be addressed, especially changed because in both Unity and Syndicate the parkour was very clunky so when you were free running sometimes you'd lose control a little bit and you'd end up doing something that you didn't command um, Jacob, Evie or Arno to do and you'll end up on the wrong building and sometimes when trying to get through a window it's quite tricky and I just feel as if it's not as good as it should be and it's not as clean as previous Assassin's Creed games and no Assassin's Creed game has nailed the free running perfectly but if they went back to a more bulky sort of parkour system where you sort of have more control so it's bulky enough to keep your control but light enough to feel good at the same time and have it quite fast paced so you can be quite fast and you can make decisions on the run and stuff like that and you can sort of fluently move building to building quickly to chase targets and stuff because I understand that slow parkour can be quite tedious, quite stressful, quite annoying and I feel as if there was a balance between the two that no games quite got. I mean Black Flag and 3 had a decent parkour system however like previous Assassin's Creed games before it it was quite slow and but it was still faster and I feel as if with Syndicate and Unity it was too for, sort of light not necessarily fast because it really wasn't it was just light like lightweight stuff so when you were sort of moving you just accidentally move, do something you didn't command yourself to do, you end up on the wrong building and such. So I feel as if they need to focus completely on that to make it so that when you're actually climbing, free running and doing parkour, you're, the character is doing what you command them to do with your controller, not what it wants to do. Because in Unity especially, there are certain moments where I end up on a building that I didn't want to be on and in Syndicate as well, I got these experiences where I'd end up on a wrong building, jumping around the fields if I didn't have full control over myself when I was in these parkour free running sequences. And I feel as if they need to focus a little bit more on that to make sure that, well, although you're going to have a fast paced free running sort of mechanism and stuff, that you sort of keep to you keep control because I feel as if they don't really give you that much control in Unity and Syndicate and you end up climbing the wrong building and there are plenty of times where you climb a ladder in Assassin's Creed and you strict you, you sort of instruct it to go down and it keeps going up and you think what the hell is this about and that's the, that's been in every Assassin's Creed game is that problem so I feel as if that too needs to be addressed so there is loads of things that they could do to improve the parkour to be fair one th one other than being keeping control, which I've mentioned before, and another one getting the pace right. So of course free running and parkour needs to be fast paced, not slow. So making decisions on the run stuff, that would be really cool to see. And jumping around sort of thing, rolls, they're quite nice. Front flips, no, that's a bit too decorated if you ask me, and I don't want decorated designs either so like in unity where he pulled himself up by spinning onto the ledge i felt as if that was a little bit excessive but i'm not gonna you know complain too much about that because i did sort of like it but i still found it a bit too excessive however there are things that you can do and things that you can't do and i feel as if a good example of some decent looking parkour is in assassin's creed brotherhood where you dismount the horse onto a pole and if there's a pole beyond that you'll sort of do a backflip up and land upright on that pole and i found that to be a really really nice move that they should have used like a little bit more than they did because it was only in Brotherhood as far as I'm aware and I think that is a really nice move and I mean it's it makes more sense than doing a front flip or something ridiculous in the middle of a town even though there's no need like running down like a, a guard th running through a garden and doing a random triple front flip like some of the parkour people do like you know there's no need for any of that stuff so just keep it sort of basic keep it very simple maybe add a bit of decoration to show that character is capable of those things I know the badass as well as show that you know the character isn't a show off like said parkour artist to trying to make it an art more than it is a me method of traveling which it is in Assassin's Creed and they need to st stick to that and not try to decorate it and I like that the fact that they removed the twist in Syndicate because that twist when you pulled yourself up onto a ledge was a bit excessive ha and nothing was really that interesting in Syndicate as far as parkour goes except the fact that you couldn't keep control 
So I feel as if they need to focus on that and give you a little bit more bulk so you can keep control because I feel as if the fact that Syndicate's parkour system didn't have enough bulk sort of added to the fact that you sort of struggled to keep control at times and ended up on the wrong spot in the wrong building. And passing windows in both Unity and Syndicate, I feel as if they're going to keep the windows there, which they definitely should, because with Ancient Egypt China atmospheres, that's going to be quite interesting. They need to really keep the bulk a little bit and add some bulk so you can keep control of what you're doing 110% of the time, even though it's pretty impossible. But that's basically what I wanted to talk about because I feel that the parkour needs to be like that sort of interesting at source. It's interesting and easy to control, but I don't know, some and quite fast as well. So like fast so you're not going too slow like in the Assassin's Creed games prior to Assassin's Creed 3. Or not too fast though, so I want to keep a balance so it's cha sort of challenging a little bit, but I'd like to see what they can do. However, that is the end of the video. Comment exactly what you think. I feel as if I haven't developed some points well enough, but we'll see. I mean, I did talk six minutes in front of this microphone, so we'll see what happens. So thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed. Be sure to go ahead and like, subscribe, share, comment. I'll see you all in the next one. So, yeah.